Hey, welcome, welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. However, oh my god, itchy nose because of hay fever. <sighs> Hopefully, you're watching me in black and white right now. And the thumbnail and the title and the description will tell you this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. And I am delighted that this is another round with the ever gorgeous Chelsea. Now this time Chelsea got to choose the picture. So, if you want to find out exactly what picture Chelsea has chosen for us to do our looks from today, and you want to see how this looks in glorious Technicolor, my friend, you are in exactly the right place. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right, okay. Hopefully that was in black and white. <laughs> Haven't forgotten yet, but there's always a first time. Um, this is, of course, the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. Lot of words. Specifically for Hedda, I've put my top on that always slides off of my shoulder because I know she quite likes seeing my shoulder pop out every so often with my tattoos, uh, but so that I don't flash everybody, I have actually got my workout top on underneath, which actually is also covered in paint stains because when I used to do the decorating, I used to wear this as well. So there shouldn't be any wardrobe malfunctions. Facial malfunctions, can't guarantee that. Wardrobe malfunctions, we should be okay. Right. Now, I'm looking at the picture here, because obviously, this time, it's time for Chelsea to choose the picture. Did I say it was Chelsea? I probably have done in the intro, but I probably haven't done it yet. It's another round with Chelsea. I love that girl. I really, really do. She's beautiful, Geordie. Absolutely. Very classical elegance picture you, you could kind of you could take her her face and, and and put it onto like one of the greek goddess statues and it would look perfect it would not look out of place she has just got such a classical beauty in in the way her face is which is awesome um she's also not frightened of a bit of color also awesome uh yes i mother-in-law bought me some, actually I haven't got them in at the moment, I've just got out of the shower. Mother-in-law bought me some gorgeous cat earrings which have got amber in them so maybe you want to drag my amber jewellery out again so I got this big boy out, look at this, look at that, marvellous. But my hand does now feel like four, four stone heavier than it should be. <laughs> but I do love amber, it's always warm. If it's proper natural amber and not plastic, which this is, trust me, the price I paid for it, that's proper natural amber. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the picture that Chelsea has chosen, which, uh, if I slide this way just for action, I can stick it up. I should not ask straight because my back's killing me. This is the picture that Chelsea chose, which, um, because there's more blue than red in it, I think... It's a sunrise rather than a sunset, but I could be wrong. Either way, we've got gorgeous still water, we've got um, varying shades of blue from super light bright blue all the way down to the purpley blues, and then we've got the sun with the orange and the coral and the mustardy yellow and pops of white and everything. So if you've not watched any of my previous photo inspiration series, 
I started this because it always intrigued me that two people with the same palette would get drawn to different colours in it. You know, every time there's a new palette launched, you'd watch all the different, you know, you'd watch your Tati and you'd watch your Jeffrey and you'd watch your uh, Raw Beauty Christie and you'd watch Paulina and, you know, and, and they would all choose different colours. So I was like, that's really interesting because they've got exactly the same inspiration because they've got the same palette. And I thought, I like the idea of palette bingo, but with that you can add extra colours in. You have to use the ones, or the five or however many colours you choose on the palette bingo, but you can add other colours in to make it easier. Now I like making things difficult. So, the rules with this are, you can only use colours if they are in the picture. Now obviously different people, remember that dress thing with the what colour is it, black and gold, blue and silver or turquoise or whatever the hell it was. Um, now I see the deepest colours as being a purpley blue, you may see them just as a navy blue or you may see them as more purple without any blue. That's a combination of what you're watching it on, what your monitor's like. Uh, and how your eyes work and of course I only see with one eye so there is a chance that I'm seeing things slightly differently but normally we come out with the same colours so you can only use the colours that are in the picture you can't add any colours in but you don't have to use all of them so you could if you really wanted to just choose one colour out of that and do an amazing blown out smoky look I, I need to wiggle I'm sorry I'm, I'm struggling pain wise I was at a, at a family funeral yesterday and church pews followed by conference chairs. Not the best when you've got fibro and arthritis in the spine. Anyway, that's the picture that she's chosen, which I absolutely adore. The palettes that I've chosen to use for the purples and the oranges. I'm going to go with my Affinity 1 from Certify. For the blues I'm going in with my Affinity 2 from Certify and if I feel I need it because I'm hoping that these two will be sufficient but if I feel that I need it I also have or if I decide I want to use a mustardy yellow because there isn't really a, there is a mustard, but it's quite a dark mustard. I can go in with my Pinky Rose Bright Lights because that's got a really nice mustard just at the top there. So, that's my plan. Love, love, loving these certified palettes, by the way. Um, I don't have a code with them. There are codes floating around, I believe. Um, I do have codes with Blush Drive though, which is her sister. Um, all of my codes are listed in the description box and they all clearly state whether or not they are affiliated. So there we go. Right, my face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd, primed. On my eyes I've got MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I've not set, but we have been talking for a while so it's not as sticky. And I had a visitor here, which I have attacked with a little bit of concealer because it was kind of flashing like a pollution beacon. So, let's get you zoomed in and let's start getting some colour on my face. Now, my films are aimed at all skill levels from complete beginners to experts, so I do tend to go through each step more slowly. These photo collabs normally are a little bit quicker than my standard tutorials simply because um, it's more about recreating the photo than it is explaining in depth all the steps that I'm using um, but I do sometimes forget myself and slip back into tutorial mode also please remember I do suffer chronic pain there are times when I physically have to stop because I cannot blend anymore because my, my I hurt basically um, I will try and tell you which brushes I am using, as always. So, uh, 
let's get started. Um, if you decide I am going too slowly for you, there is a speed widget. Please use it. I will not be offended if you speed me up. However, I will be offended if you moan about how slow my videos are. Thank you kindly. Right. Uh, I'm going to start off with, uh, I think, a nice light blue. So I'm going to go into Affinity 2 and I'm going to go into Narwab with this one. And the brush that I'm using is a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. Um, got it in my one of my birch boxes. I'm just going to run this through the crease windscreen wipers and then I'm going to use twirly whirlies just to blend it up the eye. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Regular viewers will know. Most people when they're going to do this they'll sit down and they'll they'll look at the picture and then they'll look at all their palettes and then they'll decide what look they're going to do. Yeah, I look at it and I kind of decide which palettes I want to use. And I don't look at it again until I sit down to film because I like to see what my instinct lets me do on the day rather than have a look planned that I have to follow. So I'm usually as surprised by the outcome as everybody else because I don't know what I'm doing until I sit down either. Now, hopefully you've watched my previous film with Chelsea, where I chose the picture. She did such an amazing job with that, she really did. Um, but then, I don't think I've ever seen her do a look that she didn't do well. Um, she can make Makeup Revolution palettes stand up and sing and dance for her. I mean, I know a lot of people say that you know, I get good pigment out of the palettes and they're not quite sure how because they're not doing it. But if you think I'm doing well with Revolution palettes, you should see Chelsea. I mean, that girl, it's like, she picks up a four pound reloaded palette and her finished look looks like she's been using ABH. So, <laughs> you know, the girl, the girl knows what she's doing in terms of making palettes sing for her. Um, and she's got lower brows than I have, so she hasn't got as much lid space to play with. So it always astounds me how she still manages to do such beautifully intricate looks. I do keep sitting back and checking because obviously your eye shapes are not the same. Most people's are not symmetrical. And then she decided to Photoshop it and copy it over. That particular person is currently having his social blade tanking right now. But then if you build your career on a lie, you've got to expect it to come crashing down at some point. Haven't you, James? Got to be honest, I've never really liked that boy. Just... He talks so ridiculously fast. Until he's doing an apology video. I'm reading from a script, which if you look at his uh, glasses, you can see the reflection. Pretty clearly his management company sent him a script to read from, because I've watched enough body language films. His body was not singing with what he was saying. I'm biting his bottom lip, trying to hide a duping delight smile. His ego is still so huge, he thinks he can trot out some half-hearted apology and stop it from tanking but when I checked this morning he'd lost over half a million subs yesterday and gone under 16 million and so far this morning he'd lost over a hundred thousand as well so not that I wish you a win on anybody but I don't like the boy's ethics you know you you build your career on a lie, you post pictures on Instagram and tag brands that you've not used in the hope that they'll notice you and, you know, reshare you. It's just, 
and then you've got people with, with and then they before you put a picture up anywhere you face tune the hell out of it then you get people like Chelsea who've got actual skill and actual talent she's the one that deserves millions of subs not him sorry I'm on my soapbox this morning right I'm going to say with the stain just clean my teeth I can't do a thing with them now they are mine by the way yeah um, I'm going to start building the depth up in this blue but I'm going to for the minute I'm going to stick using this looks at Luxie brush because I quite like this uh, I'm going to go into Hussain which is a slightly deeper blue and just start start building the tone up a little bit but yeah I mean Chelsea has such skill and such talent she deserves to be a much bigger channel than she is um, she's you know she's a girl who loves makeup and it shows you know I wish I'd had her talent at her age I'm not got to be her bloody mother um, which is kind of sweet that she still wants to collab with someone this old because I am now officially 45 folks hence the 45s on my nails for those old enough to get the connection but um, I'm really loving this picture and it's amazing how you can have there are so many if you sort of if you go into Google Images and Google sunset over water or sunrise over water there are so many pictures and yet although you'd think they'd all have the same kind of colours they really don't I mean Mother Nature is an amazing, amazing good thing, you know, she just, the difference in colours and tones and just, I love it, I absolutely love it and this series is so much fun, so much so that I've, I still need to record my 500 subscriber giveaway, I still need to record my, what I got for my birthday haul, I've still got a Revolution palette, a BH palette, a Rude Cosmetics palette that I haven't even touched yet <laughs> that I need to film with and it's just like I'm just really enjoying doing these collabs and fortunately the people that I'm collabing with are enjoying it too which is just awesome it, it's so lovely when when you collab with people you, you know you come up with an idea which gets you all excited because this does excite me just looking at the different pictures and seeing what colours and how it how it pulls me on the day and what colours it makes me want to play with on the day um, and the fact that people that I've watched and followed and admired for so long not only like the concept so much but that they're prepared to subscribe to, to collab but also that they then want to choose a picture and in some cases I've even got rounds three and four going on so it's just it's such a lovely thing and it's um, you know it, it's I think this is indicative of what the beauty community on YouTube should be the smaller creators are the real beauty community because they're the ones that are beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. It's a shame you can't say the same about those on the upper tier. Right. Um, I'm going to come down to a slightly more tapered brush, I think. Just pop my Luxie brush back. If it will go back in, there we go. Right, I'm going to grab this. This is a Morphe M321. Um, I'm not a Morphe shill, by the way. And yes, it, it dried a little bit wafty because it was laying against a different brush. At least it proves I clean my brushes. <clears throat> I'm just fluffing it on my hand to try and get some of the shape back. Okay. And I am going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Fareed because this is kind of a purpley blue in here as well. 
Um, it's very similar to henna, actually. Right, so I'm going to go in with Fareed. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so lucky. I've made such an awesome group of friends through doing this. Um, long term viewers know I struggle here and here because of creasing. So, I'll worry about that in a minute. I'm just laying the shapes down at the moment. I'll deal with any patchiness in a mo. Um, yeah, I'm so lucky that I've got a really lovely group of friends on on YouTube that I've met um, and that I, you know I've been collabing with. They're just all of them are so genuine and so lovely. Um, I just I'm blessed really to have them. I'm just gonna grab. This is just a random cheap brush from AliExpress. Just want to blow this look out a little bit on the edge here. I just need a little bit of a fluffier brush to do that with. Um, yeah, I'm 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 blessed really to have all these girls uh, in my world, so to speak. Uh, I mean, three of us, Anya. Or pink sweets, Nona from uh, hashtag my so called life 1977. We've decided we are the bitches of Eastwick. So um, later on this month, you will actually see a three way photo collab. So that will be fun with three of us using the same picture instead of just two. Because so far, all of the looks have been very, very different. Um, which is exactly what what I was hoping for, you know. It just shows how a lot of people, a lot of people, particularly when they're starting playing with makeup, if they watch some of the bigger beauty gurus who only ever seem to do, you know, sort of warm-toned looks, um, you know, I've I've heard people. I've I'm, you know I'm on quite a few makeup groups on on Facebook. Um, you know, and you you see younger girls saying, "Oh, um, I've done this look with this palette, but it's it's not the colours that I don't know Nikki Tutorials used or Laura Lee used or um, you know Raw Beauty Christie used. Does it still look okay?" And, you know, nine times out of ten, what they've produced is beautiful. But because they've not seen a bigger beauty guru do those colours, they're not confident that what they've produced looks good. So, the whole point of this is to give, particularly beginners with makeup, and those that are starting to get into more colour than sort of the neutrals, they're just starting to dip their toe into using colour. You know, I just, I want them to feel that they can create whatever they like. If they are drawn to completely different colours to the ones that the beauty girls are using, that's absolutely fine because if you like what you've done, then that's really all that matters. Uh, I'm just going to grab one of the purples from this one. I'm going to go into um, Summer, which is a true purple. And just lightly buff. Because I just wanted to increase the purple. Um, but yeah, us, us bitches of Eastwick, we've decided that we're going to spread love and positivity and 
hope that that spreads through the beauty community. But as I said, you know, the, the, the small group of um, ladies that I've collabed with are all absolutely wonderful people. You know, I wouldn't collab with anybody that um, that I didn't feel was accepting of everybody, almost. Um, I mean, there's one particular person. I'm not going to name names because it's not my style. There's one particular person who I'd followed for so long. Um, I'm just going to go in with this Morphe uh, M562 tiny little brush. And I'm going to go into Jazz, this really, really dark blue to deepen things up a little bit. Um, I'd followed this person for quite some time. Always left positive comments on their videos. Sometimes got a like. Most times didn't really get acknowledged, but I thought, well, you know, they, they've got significantly more subscribers than I have. It's probably difficult for them to, to go through and reply to every comment. That's fine. But I thought, you know, I've been commenting for Probably the best part of a year I'd been following her, to be honest. Um, so, okay, I know I've got maybe one sixteenth of the subscribers that she's got, but I recognise the people that comment regularly on my films. So I thought. Particularly when I was one of the first ones to comment, because I'd, I'd catch it, I'd be wide awake at stupid o'clock because of pain and would get the notification through that she'd uploaded. And I'd think, oh right, okay, I'll, I'll go and watch that, and I'd be like one of the first dozen or so comments. I thought, oh, she's bound to, you know, start recognising my name. And she'd done a particular film. And I commented on there how I absolutely loved it and um, would love to collab with her at some point in the future. And I got a very terse. Thank you, but I, I don't collab for the sake of it. I only collab with people I know and I don't know you. And I was just like, wow, okay. Dad, Dad was a little bit blunt, to say the least. Um, but I thought, well, you know, we don't know how it was meant. It, it can be difficult to ascertain someone's tone through just a comment. So I thought, oh, well, you know, fair enough. Maybe she didn't recognise my name then, but now she does, and perhaps now, once she sees how often I'm commenting, because I always try and see the good in people. Lord, I don't know why. Um, I'm going to use one of these um, nail art brushes that you use for acrylic to cut my crease. Um, I'm not going to talk you through it, I'll just show you. I might speed the second eye up, it depends whether I'm still chuntering about this situation. Um, I thought, yeah, you know, she'll she'll now start recognising my name and everything. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll try again in a few months' time. Um, and then I watched a film that my friend Nona put up saying she was really really hurt because a certain YouTuber had been particularly rude 
when she asked to collab. And at the time I thought, I wonder if it's the same person. Because the response that she'd got was very similar to the response that I'd had. So I messaged Nona and I'm like, don't worry about it love, I said I've had the same thing, just it's their loss, not yours, kind of thing. Um, and we'd already filmed our collab and it was due to go out in a couple of days, so I was like, you know, just look forward to our collab instead love, that's, you know, just, if they don't want to collab with you, that's their loss, kind of thing. As you do for a friend when they're upset. Um, and then I was chatting with uh, Anya about um, our next collab where she chooses the picture. And she said to me, Did Nona tell you who it was? And I'm like, No, I said I didn't really want to ask her and upset her. So do you know who it is? And she went, yeah, because I had a similar situation and I guessed and she told me I was right. And I'm like, who is it? She went, go on, I'll do the same with you. You guess and if you get it right, I'll tell you. And I said, one name. Just one name. And she went, yeah, that's the one. So, uh, yeah. Any good thoughts I had about that particular person? Gone. Um, I unsubscribed on YouTube and Insta immediately because I thought, you know, being nasty to me, that's one thing. Being nasty to my friends, that's, that's not on. That's absolutely not on. Particularly someone who is as lovely as Nona. She, she's got the biggest heart on this platform. So, I need you all to know that when I collab with people, they are kind, they are caring, and they are people that I am proud to call my friends. So, Chelsea is one of those people. Right now, how shall I do this one? Let me see. Mm. I'm going to start off with the bright yellow, I think, in the corner. This is Salma. I'm going into um, Affinity One here from Certified, by the way. And I'm using a slightly smaller because that brush that I used um, I got in a set of six for about four quid on eBay so but these are great for precision work particularly when you've got deep set eyes like I have or if you've got hooded lids and you need to make sure that the precision is really bang on you know um, I always do one eye at a time so that the concealer remains as sticky as possible because I don't use a separate glitter glue or anything or eyeshadow primer over the top I just rely on the stickiness of the concealer so start with that yellow I'm just going to clean it off on my shorts because it's my slobbing around the house shorts and they need to go in the wash anyway. Uh, and now I think I'm going to pick up I think a little bit of pink. Got like a, a pinky purpley, so I'm going to go into Riz. which is a gorgeous, oh, hello sorry, <laughs> which is a gorgeous pink in this palette. But it's like, um, it, it's not quite a hot pink, it has got an element of 
kind of purpley tones underneath it. I suppose it's almost a fuchsia. So I'm doing this sort of almost in a straight line because I'm going to blend in just a minute. You can see what I mean about being able to have the precision with this sort of brush though. It does make a really big difference. If you've got smaller eyes or hooded eyes or deep set eyes. Let's get moving. Right, so I've cleaned the pigment off of the brush. I'm just going to buff over where the two colours meet. So dragging the pink onto the yellow and the yellow onto the pink until we get a very, very soft blend. Might grab a wee bit more of that yellow just to keep the brightness in that inner corner. That's nice, I like that. And then I think I will go in with Sonia, which is a gorgeous like pumpkin orange. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? I'm not tapping this brush off so I am getting a little bit of fallout but that's that's my fault and I've not done my base yet anyway so it's really not an issue. It all dusts away quite easily. So yeah, um, basically whoever I collab with you know they're good people. And you know that you can go to their channel and be safe in, in the, uh, the knowledge that they're not going to be absolute twat faces. Because I don't collab with twat faces, I'm just picking up some of the pink and dragging that across onto the orange. Just to kind of soften where the two colours meet again. I'm liking this a lot. And then I think I'm going to go in with... Um, shall I do Marian? Or shall I do Alia? Uh, I think Alia. No, I'm going to go in with Muriam and then a little bit of Alia on top. To add some of the depth in colour. So basically I'm doing three, three swipes across Muriam and one across Alia or Alia. Again, I'm just using the microfiber cloth to clear it off with. Going back into that gorgeous orange. I'm just going to drag that across. Grab a wee bit more of the orange. Just to really soften. That blend. I'm just going to dust that away. So there's my sunrise or sunset or whatever it's doing. Um, I am probably now going to speed up the other eye, otherwise this film is going to be so long. Um, but I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing as before, so I'm going to be cutting it with 
my Tarte Shape Tape in 8B Porcelain Beige and then um, using the same tones across the eye. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go off camera and do my foundation etc and I'll be back to finish off the under eye look and uh, we can see then how well or not you think I've done at recreating the picture so I will see you right now okay I am back I am going to go in with a flat topped brush and I'm going to pick up a combination of Ijaz and Naveed which is um, a really super dark blue and then like a silver shimmer I just want to run that I should have tapped off really I've done my base now haven't I using a shimmer. Silly woman. So I'm just going to run, run that along under my lash line. I kind of want to get the impression of the light on the water. Because I've got all the sky going on up here. I'm kind of trying to get the water effect down here. Oh dear, someone's not very happy. Right, and then I'm going to go in with... I've got another flat top brush here, but it's much stubbier. Uh, this was actually the brush that came with the Graveyard Girl palette from Tarte. And I'm going to go into... Farid. No, Akib which is a beautiful, true um, blue. I don't know if you can actually see that. But it really is a beautiful, true blue. True blue, baby, I love you. A little bit of a 80s Madonna moment there for us all. So I'm just going to buff this along that lower lash line. Just to soften it a fraction. I'm just taking it just up past because obviously at the moment I'm still struggling with 
um, runny eyes with the hay fever and the fibro and the, the whole everything. So, um, liner at the moment is not a good idea. So I'm kind of running this darker colour up the edges to sort of give the same impression of elongating the eye out without actually having to use liner. <sighs> oh bless, she's really going for it isn't she? She really means that craft. That's a, that sounds like a I can't get my own way cry. <laughs> Which is why I'm giggling, because my god kids have tried that one on me before now. Right, this is just a cheap lip brush from eBay that I've had for years. I'm going to go in with the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Space Baby highlight, because this has got a blue shift to it. And I'm going to run that just up under the brow bone here. Like so. I love doing this with my actual highlighter rather than using, you know, your traditional, like matte white or like the benefits, like cray or anything. I also find that with my shape eye, carrying the inner corner highlight down under my tear duct really helps open the eye up again obviously putting dark underneath it does close it in slightly. But I just I like that effect. So obviously I, I, I struggle with getting anything to stay in my waterline for the same reasons. Um, so I tend to do more of a under the eye than on the waterline jobby. I like that. Right I'm gonna pause you while I bung some more of this all over my face, decide on a lipstick, uh, do something with my hair, and I'll be back for the final look. I am back. I have blue highlight pretty much everywhere. You can put blue highlight. Uh, the lippy I used was MAC Velvet Teddy and the mascara today was Essence Lash Princess with the green top because obviously they've got quite a few lash princesses in different shades and different types. So, there's the picture. Here's the eye look. What do you think? Is that a good enough representation of, of that picture? Would you have done this or would you have done it slightly differently? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'm now going to film the intro for this and then I'm going to go and edit it. But while you're watching me, I am going to be watching the beautiful Chelsea. So, my beautiful 4F babies, when you finish watching me, you've done your usual you like and you comment and you maybe share it and you know you've double checked that you're still subscribed because YouTube keep unsubscribing people and removing the notification bell I'd like you all to pop across please and check out Chelsea's version and see exactly what kind of eye look she has done and yes I put a blue pearl headband on because it was the ocean and it felt appropriate even though with my hair going wafty you can't really see it that well, but never mind. So yeah, don't forget to go and check out Chelsea's film and show her some of our 4F beauty love and support. And if you have come here from Chelsea's channel, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I've got an awful lot of other films if you wanted to check some of them out. Um, I've got a folder full of collabs which includes all of these and other collabs that I've done but if you're just interested in watching the photo inspiration series there is a um, playlist that's the word I was looking for 
there is a playlist called Photo Inspirations and you can watch every single episode of it. Right, so now, as always, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.